Um, I think this is unnecessary and um, can we be better we can be better served by public transport and the route they have proposed is disgraceful it goes through three SSSIs there's a lot of lot at stake today the, we object to the M4 many levels firstly um, from an environmental aspect is terrible six lane motorway through green farmland and five SSIs um, the cost is ridiculous, one and a half billion pounds in a massively populated area. Um, better off spending the money on light, tra light rail or uh, other transport mix. Um, we're not going to hit a CO2 target. The amount, of, the amount of problems we currently face in the world with climate change, this is you know, going to contribute to that significantly. We, we, we really enjoy coming to the levels and watching the wildlife there. We wouldn't want that to go. But don't you think we need more roads? Yeah, I, I suppose, but there are alternative things that wouldn't, wouldn't impact on it nowhere near as much. So what sort of uh, alternatives would you like to see instead of the new road? The blue route, which, is a, which would probably solve the traffic issue, but it would have much less impact on the, the sites where the wildlife would be. We need no new M4! We don't need no new M4! Wildlife's best, we know for sure! Wildlife's best, we know for sure! Green space? Yes! yes. Metro? Yes! Public transport? Yes! yes. The motorway pl the plan at the moment is to go through land that is nationally important for its biodiversity interest, but it's also a landscape of outstanding historic interest as well. Yes. The designation's already there, it's incredibly important that it's part of your heritage, it's part of our heritage, and yet we still think it's okay to put a road through it. Um, my name's Catherine Lindstrom and I'm a resident of St Brides Wentloo on the Gwen Levels and I've lived here for over 20 years and it's one of the most extraordinary landscapes that we have in Wales. It's extremely unusual, very precious, very wild and yet right next to Newport and Cardiff and it's a place that the people of Newport and Cardiff can come to at the weekends and we see them all the time I mean, walking their dogs, running, cycling, enjoying this amazing landscape. And the idea of putting a six-lane motorway upon stilts, straddling that beautiful, beautiful landscape is just horrific. And then come in to see how it's going. You can. There's no compunction. I mean, they don't want, you know, a huge amount of kerfuffle in the middle of it, but it's a public inquiry. It's just like any public meeting. The public can come and go and dip in and dip out as they wish. Please, please, please keep their hands off the Gwent levels. It's an ancient, historic and iconic place that deserves the protection and the uh, uh, support of the Welsh Government and not to be destroyed by what will be eight lanes of um, motorway at some heights, passing really close to Dufferin and that community. Um, and at heights of 22 feet as you come over Pheasant's Bridge. So what, what's the problem with a new road then? Well, the, 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 one of the issues is that it's going to cost a vast amount of money yeah. and we all know that costs tend to rise in um, and so they're likely to be much more. There are other alternatives that can be gone, the metro, um, the trams up the valleys, which would be a much better alternative. And then of course putting a motorway across the Gwent levels, which is just like putting a wall across as far as the wildlife is concerned, the destruction to the wildlife will be irreparable. So the alternatives then? The alternatives have got to be sustainable transport links that get people out of their cars and stop this continued need for people or want for people to build roads all the time to get ourselves out of congestion. 